One of the most basic skills that you learn in geometry is how to calculate the area of a circle. Now, this is not that difficult, and we're going to actually do a practice problem here. So we have a circle, and we want to find its area, given that its diameter is 4 centimeters. Now, if you're not quite sure what the diameter of a circle is, I'll explain all of this in just one second. But we're also going to do an added twist in this problem and we're going to calculate the exact area of this circle. So if you think you can find the precise exact area of this circle, given that its diameter is four centimeters, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna explain all of this in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, we have a circle. Its diameter is four centimeters and we want to calculate the exact area of this circle. So how do we do this? Well, this is not that difficult, and let's take a look at the solution right now. So to find the area of a circle, we need a formula, and that formula looks like this. So the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so this is definitely a formula that you wanna put into your long-term memory. Now, we can't use this formula if we don't understand you know, what it's telling us. So pi is what? Well, this is a number. I'll talk about that in just one second. And r is the radius of a circle. So if you don't know what the radius of a circle is, well, of course, you're going to have a tough time solving this problem. Okay, so let's talk about what the radius of a circle is. And the first thing that we're going to do is define what the diameter of a circle is. So the diameter is basically the width of the circle and it goes through the center of the circle. So that is the diameter. Of course, you uh, can measure it in different ways. You can go from here to here and here to here, etc. But that is what the diameter is. Now the radius is one half of the diameter. So it starts from the center and it goes out to the edge. So this is the radius of the circle and so is this, and so is this, etc. Okay, so again, the radius of a circle is one half the diameter. So in this problem, if the diameter is four centimeters, the radius would be equal to two centimeters. Okay, so that is the radius of a circle. So now let's talk about what pi is in this formula. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So pi is a critically important number in mathematics, and the symbol for pi is this. So pi is not equal to 3.14. Now, a lot of people know this number 3.14 and they know pi. This is an estimation of pi. It's an approximation and a pretty rough uh, approximation at that. Now, the deal with pi is that the digits of pi would take infinity to write out because this type of number in mathematics is called an irrational number. In other words, the digits are non-repeating and non-terminating. So we don't know all the digits unless we go out to infinity. So we can only get estimations or approximations for pi. So if you want to find the exact area of a circle, you can't really replace pi, this symbol that represents the entire uh, digits of pi, with a number like 3.14. Now, in practicality, we often uh, replace pi with an actual decimal approximation because we need actual values. So if you wanted to find a good approximation of the area of this circle, you can use various uh, number of digits for pi. The more digits you use, the better your uh, approximation for the area of this circle would be. Okay, so that is pi, and now let's go ahead and find the exact area of this circle. 
So what we need to do is follow the formula. All right, so the area is equal to pi r squared, and you have to be careful here because we have to pay attention to the order of operations. So the radius is two centimeters. So let's go ahead and plug that into our formula. So the area is gonna be equal to pi times two squared. And of course, this two is two centimeters, but we'll kind of leave those units of measure off to the side for now. So what we have is multiplication and a power. So remember in the order of operations, you have to do powers first before multiplication. So our answer here is going to be pi times two squared or four, but uh, we typically don't write our answers like this. Uh, we would write it this way, four pi. Okay, so this is the exact area, but we're missing one more thing. We're missing the units of measure. So that would be centimeters squared because here, we plugged in two or two centimeters into our uh, formula here for the radius, right? So if we square two centimeters like this, we're gonna end up with, well, let's just do the calculation here. So two centimeters times two centimeters, we're gonna have four times centimeters times centimeters or centimeters squared. So remember when you are dealing with um, units of measure for area, they'll always be in squared units. All right, so this is the exact area of this circle. Now, if you got this right, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face in the A+. Now, if you used a 3.14 or another decimal, all you have to do is take four and multiply it by that decimal approximation, and then of course you would have your answer. So you need to know how to do that as well. But you definitely need to understand questions which are pretty common in geometry in terms of finding exact area or exact volume. Now, if you need additional help in geometry, whether it's basic geometry or actual full geometry topics like you would learn in a high school level geometry course, check out the different courses that I offer in the description of this video. My pre-algebra course, I actually have a few chapters on basic geometry. And then of course you'll see my uh, full complete geometry course, which I pretty much cover everything that you'll want to know about geometry. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.